Okay, so I've had quite a few more requests to do a bit more of an updated walk around on the car now that it's um, a 2ZZ turbo rather than 1ZZ turbo. Um, apologies for the road noise, I'm just um, pulled up out doing some mapping at the moment. You can see down there we've got... So the car's running an ECU Master EMU Black. Um, it is a standard unopened 2ZZ engine. Um, I'm using a td 415T turbo. Um, it has um, ID 1050X injectors. Um, it is currently running a charge cooler setup with a Fiat 500 um, radiator in the front as a heat cooler. It's running a 50mm um, radiator in the front. It's got a full flat floor, carbon bonnet, um, hard top, Mysterar coilovers. Um, the car's car handles extremely well on track. Um, it's doing a, a new alignment. Um, I built a map to the car myself. Um, there is a forged engine due to go into this vehicle soon, which has mile um, 8.8 to 1 ratio pistons. Um, I also have a whole set HX32 turbo to go on this, so it should be running larger turbo and more boosts. The goal is 400 450 horsepower. Currently, I estimate this to be running anywhere between 250 and 300. Um, it is running, it's only a small frame turbo CD04, so the car's currently making 12 psi of boost, tailing off to 10 psi at redline. Um, I'll do a few um, second and third gear pulls whilst I'm out with the GoPro in the car. So, GoPro's just set up there. Um, give you all a, a feel for what the vehicle currently does, but it's um, currently very capable. Um, yeah, no, I'll try and find a bit of a quieter spot and do another bit of a walk around because we've now got full flat floor and a Lotus Elise Series 2 rear diffuser. Um, so yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, so we managed to stop for a little while. Um, so externally the car still looks exactly the same as it did before. <clears throat> um, carbon bonnet, it's got its winter wheels on at the minute. Um, to just standard facelift and um, wheels that have been powder coated anthracite. Um, it does have the Roper Racing engine cover fitted now. So inside, pretty much the same as the 1ZZ setup was. Uh, got the Series 2 Lotus Elise rear diffuser there. That goes back to a full flat floor. Um, I found that really, really helps on track. Um, inside inside the engine bay wide, so we do have a td 4 turbo, um, Mamba um, adjustable actuator. It's also set up for Mac 3 port boot control valve. So next thing with the mapping is to start looking at um, open loop and closed loop boot control. Um, that's why this wiring is just a bit janky here. That's just setting that up in, that up in the ECU. Um, lift is set to come on at 5,600 RPM. I found that's the sweet spot for me, um, but I'm not a professional mapper, but it, it just works. It's a nice smooth transition. So with a standard eBay charge cooler, um, I do have a larger version of this to go on once we go to a, um, a larger turbocharger. Um, I've got both breathers, um, breathing to a catch tank, then to atmosphere. Um, seems to do the job pretty well. Walking around the car, still pretty much standard. So, yeah, we've got some TTE side skirts to go on to match with the Toyota front spats. But other than that, that's pretty standard. So I'll carry on, do a few more pulls. Um, and the rest of the day is just um, tweaking, the, um, tweaking the fuel map just to get the kind of AFRs right where I want them for general cruising. Um, I've got them set at 11.5 at the moment on full pulls. It does richen out to around 11.1, 10.8-ish um, once we get into the kind of 7,000 RPM and onwards. Um, boost is currently set on the wastegate spring at 12 PSI, which tails off to 10 PSI from about 6,000 RPM onwards. So I don't want to up the boost until I've got it on the dyno to see what sort of power it's making um until we've done that um 
I won't know kind of how close I am to the engine limits. I'm just going off kind of butt dyno at the minute to see how it works. Um, but yeah, plan is get on the dyno in the next month or so, um, then try and get sneaking in the last couple of uh, track days of the year. I had booked on to the um, Toyota, only one at Donington Park, but that's been cancelled because Donington are um, resurfacing um, the track in that time, so unfortunately that's been cancelled. Um, so one restriction I might have on this engine um, is it still uses a two and a half inch exhaust. Um, apparently the 2ZZ turbos do like to breathe more um, than the 1ZZs. So um, when the new engine goes in um, with a large frame turbo, I do actually have a, um, a three inch exhaust with a with a cat already kind of made up and manufactured. So that'll still be the, the bumper exit, which I quite like. So we'll stick from there. Right, I'll try and get a few more rolling videos, a few more pulls, and then we'll leave it at that. So I have had quite a few people ask me about what software I use. So I'm on the ECU Mastery MU Black. Um, I used to have a, a Pexi PFC before. Um, but I, this thing's so intuitive to use and there's plenty of kind of help online. I, you know, I don't proclaim to be, you know, some master, uh, master mapper, but yeah, I, I love, um, I love the software, um, loads of help online, um, and pretty good community as well on the Facebook group. So yeah, I'd, I'd definitely recommend, uh, the ECU master as an ECU. So let's go for a second gear pull. Same spot for a little pull. We'll just uh, slow down, got nothing behind us. Kill this! 